She won't stop nutting in our towels. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Just what the title says. My 31-year-old non-binary, the person writing spouse. this. Their spouse, 35-year-old trans woman, has a habit of masturbating anytime I leave the house, and rather than finish literally anywhere else, ups to finish in our towels. <laughs> That's what? quite a that's quite a woman you got there. That is disgusting. Uh, that's a highly functioning woman's penis. Yes, it is. I'm so sick of it. It's disgusting and gross. <laughs> I've asked her multiple times to stop doing it <laughs> and offered alternatives, but she doesn't care. It's because it's not a she. Your girlfriend's got a dick, bro. That's right. Her current defense is that she only does it in dirty towels, but dirty or not, if they're not washed right away, some have ended up with big bleached out spots. Not to mention it's me that does the laundry, so I'm peeling these crusty little love deposits apart. Oh, ah! oh I'm ah! sorry. I, I thought I thought your wife was the woman and you were the non-binary one smashing the patriarchy and the gender norms, so shouldn't Yeah, who's doing laundry? Shouldn't the hypergendered trans woman with the fully functioning penis be the one doing the laundry? <laughs> so it's just my crazy. opinion. I could be wrong. This is insane. <laughs> if it's not a bath towel, she'll use a hand towel and hide it. I found them under our bed, under the couch. Every time I'm so appalled by it, and every time she's embarrassed and offended, I would call her out. I'm at a loss as to how to get my spouse to stop trying to impregnate the towels. <laughs> uh, that's just fucking Woo! fucked up. That's nasty. Yes. Yes, it is. That is savagely nasty, bro. And it really does lead into the very last story that I there have here in the folder. Oh, my God. My male-to-female wife and I, cis-female, opened our relationship. Oh my See how it all feeds in? My wife and I have been together for nine years. We're each other's best friends. Seven to eight months ago, she began transitioning from male to female. She is so much happier and more attractive than ever to me. She's already beginning to pass. It's been an incredible transformation. Yeah, I'm uh, sure it looks totally like the real thing. Now her penis doesn't work like it used to. Uh, because you fucked up with all the hormones. What the, fuck you think you, what the fuck you think was going to happen? It doesn't get as hard, and it's far too sensitive for penetration. We decided to open our relationship since we are both bottoms, and I miss a hard rooster. <laughs> we've been going out to get effed, and besides some early on the early on insecurities, we've been enjoying ourselves. Last night, I suddenly found myself weepy because my wife used to have the most incredible rooster, and she knew exactly how to make love to me. Mm. I've had great relations with men since we opened, but my heart really misses my wife's old penis. I miss what, what I, the fuck is that? What did you just say? The fact that I you can, can write this sentence with a straight face. I cannot even believe that. Oh my god! Yeah, put that on a T-shirt and walk around and see how many people burst out laughing and start whipping out their phones to take pictures of your stupid ass. Yeah. Wow. Now, I will never wear that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess you got you the one that says I'm not gay, but twenty bucks is twenty bucks. I'll never wear that one. I know. <laughs> I miss what I had so readily available back in the day. Well, you encouraged this with your non-binary bullshit. Probably got brainwashed by this person. Ugh. I told her last night that she was the best and that I'm going to treasure those memories of her old rooster. We both held each other and it was really sweet. We begun to have lesbian-styled relations together and I enjoyed a lot. I'm finding that I do have a dom side. I love tying her up and teasing her super sensitive lady penis. <laughs> this is so weird. This is what mental illness looks this like. This is exactly how mental <sighs> illness is. I wow. Think, I think sometimes a small part of me wishes I could have my new wife who I adore, but also have her old rooster. But that's life. My wife is also enjoying going out to see men. She says it's like losing her virginity all over again. God. That she's shy and taking it slow, but having fun. That's just the tip. Just the tip. Uh, <laughs> I'm so eager to do three ways together, but, oh, uh, man, as if this already wasn't doomed. Bringing other people into this scenario is good, good times. Yeah. But since she says she's taking it slow, I'm cool waiting even if it never happens. I really think she's the sexiest person on the planet. When she got back from her last meetup, she was glowing. She said she felt like a lady. Yeah, well... Pancake bed or drying on your butt cheeks will do that to mm. a chick, I guess. <laughs> oh my God, that's disgusting, but true. 
true. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wanted to share with a group of people who may understand. Or I know not. not everyone approaches changing bodies and meeting needs by opening a relationship. But if anyone on here has done what we've done, I'd love to hear about your experiences. I found my soulmate. I never thought I'd be married to a trans woman and have an open relationship. But life is an adventure like that. Uh, That's another thing. <laughs> like this whole like all of these different genders and Ooh. stuff. When you try to talk to these people, like, could you please give me an example in nature of all these different genders? Uh, and then they can't do it, and they call they you an istophobic. Yeah, istophobic. The minute you try to use logic, oh, you're an istophobic. Wow. And you want trans people to die. You want to murder them, man. I'm just, like, fuck wow. you. I'm just wow. telling you the deal that what's going on here with us in the human race doesn't fucking exist in the animal fucking kingdom. And we are fucking animals mm-hmm. with big brains. Damn That's right. it. That's right. You don't like it? Fuck out. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case of books.